So for 9b, Mr. Kubi has a backyard garden in the form of a rectangle. The breadth of the garden is 212 base 3 meters and the length is twice the breadth. Calculate the area of the garden, leaving the answer in base 5. So from the question, we are being told that the backyard garden is in the form of a rectangle. Now, if we have this rectangle, this side is the breadth and then this is the length. Now the breadth is giving us 212 base 3 meters. So 212 base 3 meters. And then the length is twice the breadth. So we have L equals 2 times of B. And this is equal to 2 times 212 base 3 meters. Now this can also be expressed as 212 base 3 plus 212 base 3. Because you are going to multiply 2 by this value which means that you have twice of that. Now let's add the two values. So we have 212 base 3 plus 212 base 3. Now let's add the two values. So 2 plus 2 is 4. And then since we are working in base 3, we are going to divide 4 by 3. So we have 4 divided by 3 and that is equal to 1 remainder 1. So we are going to write down the remainder so the remainder is 1 and then we carry on 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 2 is 3 so 3 divided by 3 is 1 remainder 0 so we write 0 and then we carry on 1 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 5 divided by 3 is 1 remainder 2 so we write 2 we carry on the 1 1 plus 0 plus 0 is still 1. Therefore, when you add the two values, 212 base 3 plus 212 base 3, you have 1201 base 3. So this is the length of the rectangular garden. Now let's find the area. So the area of a rectangle is given by the length times the breadth. So the length is 1, 2, 0, 1, base 3. And then we multiply that by 2, 1, 2, base 3. So this becomes 1, 2, 0, 1, base 3 times 2, 1, 2, base 3. Now let's multiply these two values. Still working in base 3. 2 times 1 is 2. So we have 2 here, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 divided by 3 is 1, remainder 1. So we write the remainder and then we carry on 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, remainder 0. So we have 0 and then we carry on 1. So that is 10102. One, now let's come to this value which is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2. And then 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 divided by 3 is 1 remainder 1. So 1 and then we carry on 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. We have 0, 1. Now let's add all these three values in base 3. 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 plus 2 is 3. So that is 1 remainder 0. So we have 0 and then we carry on 1. 
1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 0 is 3. So that is 1 remainder 0. So we have 0 and then we carry on 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. So that is 1 remainder 1. So we have 1 here. We carry on 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. And then 1 plus 0 is also 1. Therefore, the area of the rectangular backyard garden is equal to 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, base 3 meter square. So this is the area in base 3. Now we are asked to leave our answer in base 5. So to convert to base 5, first of all, we need to convert this value to base 10. And then we convert from base 10 to base 5. So that is exactly what you are going to do. So the area of the rectangular backyard garden is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, base 3, meter square. Now we need to convert this value, first of all, to base 10. Therefore, converting to base 10, this becomes 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, base 3 is equal to, we are going to multiply the individual values by 3. So we have 1 times 3 plus 1 times 3 plus 1 times 3 plus 0 times 3 plus 0 times 3 plus 1 times 3 plus 2 times 3. Now the exponent, so we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. Now let's simplify. So 3 exponent 6 times 1 is 729. 3 exponent 5 times 1 is 243. 3 exponent 4 times 1 is 81. 0 times everything here is 0. 0 times everything here is also 0. So we have plus 0, plus 0, plus 3 exponent 1 is 3. And then any non-zero number raised to the power 0 is 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. So when you add all these values, then you are going to get 1, 0, 5, 8, base 10. So this is the area of the rectangular backyard garden in base 10. Now let's convert this base 10 value to base 5. So we are going to draw a table containing the base that we want to convert to, the value we are going to convert, and the remainder. Now we are going to divide 1058 by 5 to the point that we can no longer perform any division. How many times does 5 go into 1058? 5 goes into 1058 211 times. So 5 times 211 is 1055. So 1058 minus 1055 is 3. So that is going to be the remainder. 5 goes into 211 42 times. So 5 times 42 is 210. So 211 minus 210 is 1. So that is the remainder. 5 goes into 42 8 times. 5 times 8 is 40. 42 minus 40 is 2. 5 goes into 8 only once. 8 minus 5 is 3. 5 goes into 1 0 times. 1 minus 0 is 1. So we are going to write the number from bottom to the top. Therefore, we say that the area of the rectangular backyard garden which was 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, base 3, 
meter square is equal to one three two one three meter square in base five so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye